Well, that was a way to start. <clears throat> Hello, and welcome to the circus. I'm your host, Phoenix Electra, and it's Friday. Huzzah! Which means that no one's watching me because America's Untold Stories is on right now, and they're doing their Grateful Dead episode. Shout out to the boys, Girl Bear and Eric Hunley. And, oh, somebody thinks that it's snacky time. What's going on? What's going on? You think, all right, hold on, hold on. Let me throw up the technical difficulty sign so we can, I will meet your needs. Hold on. These aren't tech issues. I will be right back. All right, I'm back with snacks for Loki. Hold on, hold on. It's just the lid. He knows my intro and he's like, that means it's snacky time for me, right? It's time for me to get some snackies. Hold on, let me get a couple snackies out for your sister. Hold on. He like must know the words like hello welcome to the circus and he's like yes is it time for me to be performing should i be performing now can i be your handsome assistant come on handsome assistant oh who is such a handsome handsome assistant All right, I was not necessarily planning on having snackies, but Loki knows the words and the music, and he's like, that must mean it's time for me to get some snacky snackies that tomorrow on Saturdays for the Shop My Stitch while we are going through my vintage knitting pattern collection, there is no snackies because I... Don't touch snackies and fondle publications that are, wow, the one was 19, almost 70 years old, and they're in such good condition. I can't believe it. There's one from 1969 that'll be coming up that has seen some better days, but... Enough with the rambling. Let me wet my whistle and not turn my page. Oh, not only did I not just turn my page, I completely jumped ahead. Ooh, let's look at with the preview of what's coming up. Let's make that blouse. Oh, soon. There we are. We're at, ha! That's so funny. I forgot we were at the cat stitching. I wonder if that's where people say catch stitch, but in this publication, they call it cat stitching, which is quite funny. But we did catfish. We, actually, we didn't do catfishing. We got fished by a cat. So on last week, Sunday, for the nobody who watched it, but hey, let me real quick. Hearts you replay crew, rumble crew. Thank you for my nine rumblers over there. Only 91 more and we'll start to live stream for free. So if you like this stuff, check out all of, oh, it's my link for my rumble page in the downstairs. Let me add the links to my rumbles in the downstairs because I don't think that is there. Check out all of my affiliate links also in the downstairs areas. And let me stop ra rambling and let's get to learning 
because this these lessons are going to take us like 500 years to get through and so it shall be all right what my whistle and let us commence with cat stitching cat stitching is making small stitches used to hold various edges in sewing especially flannel edges place the pieces of flannel together all right i have two pieces one two flannel together and make a seam okay oh i probably should have grabbed a bigger pair of shears all right let me I don't have bigger scissors. All right, I'll be Shears obtained and tried to spill overboard. All right. Ah, oh, don't. Why are you doing that to me? Do 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 do. Ah. Do 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 do. The submarine. The guy was gone. All right, we are just flipping pages like crazy. This is what we went through last week. Here we are. Let's see here. So which cat stitching? They don't say what type of stitch to use for our seam. So for the sake of brevity, we're going to use a running stitch because this is a sampler. And I'm also going to sew up the short edge here. So I'm going to take my customary little stitches because sewing everything looks prettier if you can avoid a knot. In my humble opinion, which is what it is. All right. And let us gently gently run a stitch <laughs> sure I and mean, these are yeah I don't know I just hit this old giant green flannel sheet that was laying around that I've used previously to try embroidery machine embroidery on which was not, which worked fine. It was fine. I know it's like where you need topics while we go through some of these stitching things, but I am just rocking my needle back and forth. I'm only doing two stitches at a time, but I do think it's helpful to that tip about threading your needle while it's still attached because then you continue to go with the line of the thread because somebody, what was I watching? Mm, I'm gonna forget their name to be able to shout them out. There was somebody who did the co, mm, they did the costume symposium they were at costume college and did the did some videos i'm going to i'm the name is escaping me i'm sorry human creator wow this is the most uneven running stitch ever it's and there's cats fighting But regardless, the point I was getting at was that this seamstress 
was talking about how there is a threat. Whoa, eruptation nation. Thread has a right end and a wrong end, which makes sense. It's all on the cone, and if you're using your machine, me, it's it. You may or may not have had that unfortunate experience of having your spool in the wrong direction, and it it just doesn't sew quite right. So. Yeah, so if you thread your needle as it's the thread is still attached to the spool, you will always make sure that your thread is in the right direction because, oh, that's what they were getting at. If you thread your needle in the wrong direction, it's more prone to making knots. All right, so we have our not pretty or focusing. seam. So what do we, what's next on our destructions here? Place the plate, place the plate. Wow, this much alliteration is super hard. Place the pieces of the flannel together and make a seam. Done. Trim off one edge of the seam and press the other edge down to cover the seams. So we're probably going to start back at the opposite end. So I am just going to take again two little stitches perpendicular to the stitch line. Yeah, three for good measure. And trimmy, trim, trim. Trim trimini, trim trimini, trim trim true. Oh, that would be really funny. So how are, how is everyone's week going? I know we are well sweet Loki, my luff bug. I'm dropping my Wow. I need to do much better with my threads if we are going to get a kitten in a couple of weeks. Actually two kittens, because you can't just have one kitten. They need to come in pairs. Okay, shears. And I'm going to carefully I do this on my knee where you can see it. <laughs> hey, bug, bug. I think I'm going to cut down this back side that is not as nice. So let's see here. Trim off one edge of the seam and press the other edge down to cover the seam. All right, I'm going, because this one is more frayed and yucky looking. So you are out of here. All right. One. Press down. All right. And press the other edge down to cover the seam. On <laughs> under the flat seam at the upper. What? What? Okay. Thimbled, threaded needled, insert the needle under the flat seam at the upper, oh, I get me, did I not need to trim my thread? Under the flat seam at the upper left hand corner, there's the thread into the upper left hand corner, okay. Now I'm going to need to make another little thing in the cheese. I guess it was just as well that I trimmed it so that as I was cutting down the other half, it didn't, um, I didn't actually, I did not accidentally 
trim my thread. Hey, folks who are watching me in the replay crew. No. Yeah. Need to find a better way. Close your eyes if you get motion sick. We will. There we are. Okay. Oh, but I did. I okay. I'm getting super distracted. There's my back. I did last week practice trying to get my other stitch after the stream. It's still not pretty, but you know, nope. Nobody's judging my work but me and you. So let's see here. Thread under the flat seam at the upper left hand corner then cross to the edge below and make a small stitch a little to the right through all sick all thicknesses not all sicknesses <laughs> Okay, next it says, cross again to the top and insert the needle as before, taking a similar stitch, always pointing the needle to the left. Okay, I think we can do this. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Okay, I should really find, what kind of music do people like in the background? Or should we just put what I like in the background, which is going to be whatever I like? That's probably not going to be to most people's tastes. Do I care? You know what? No, I don't really care. Let us... <gasps> I think, oh, is... What? This, oh. Whoa, okay. Let's real quick do some shenanigans. We'll get back to rackets later. Let's us. Oh, that's me live on the YouTubes. That's me. Oh, Allison, Laura, what? 2325. I. There's too many great shows on. Laid Back News is on right now. Um, Allison Morrow is going to be on in literally one minute. And then there's little old me we are going to quietly in the background put on some sci-fi horror synth remix prequel royalty free white bat audio from a couple hours ago because Oh. No. Because, oh, damn it. I, what? We go back to the feather stitching on page 576. We want page, like, 28. 
Oh, I can't wait to get to the smocking and pleating section. Sorry. No, that was one too many. All right, we're thirsty again. All right, hold on a second. I think we got it. I think we got it. Let me get back to my page where my camera is. Why are you not focusing? All right, we're not getting all the fine details, but let us finish this cat stitching. So appropriate to, not that we're, do not do that again. All right, I think I remember the directions for the cat stitching. So let's get to the end of that and then we'll, then we'll get to what's next. Oh, this music is putting me in the ho holiday spirits. There we go. I know I need to figure out how to get more of my spooky season decorations in the shot. And I'm going to take out my body parts collection soon here to put some of them on display. Yes, I know. Asked me in the downstairs about my body parts collection. I have one. No, they're not real body parts in jars. But would that kind of be cool? Yes. Yes, it would be kind of cool. I would enjoy that. Going into the old creepy shops. With weird body parts and jars. Kind of my jam. So weird. So this is super simple. Okay, so... You start at the top, and you make a little stitch. Well, we read the we read the destructions. If you don't get it, rewind it and do it again. But it makes this like elongated, kind of cross stitchy thing. Oh, I guess I could have. Oh, flannel. Seams may also be pressed open in each side of the seam cat stitch. So you can either do like a felled cat stitch or a opened cat stitch. But we, I'm just going to do this version and not do a sampler of the other. But that is good to know. And the back is just two rows of fine little stitches. Fun. <laughs> we did the feather stitching, so next, once we get to the end of this, we will practice the hem stitching. But it's so funny. I think this people also call this herringbone or catch catch c-a-t-h stitch but in this book they call it cat stitch which i honestly like better and just think it's super cute even though my cats have disappeared into other rooms not shrooms rooms I know, I can't, it's so funny since I've started doing these three streams a week, like two weeks ago, I'm like, I can't wait to get to the end of the week so that I can 
sit up and talk to my camera and all of you on the info webs. I like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, let me do it. Let me be a live stream. Can I be a live streamer now? Mommy, mommy, I just want to be a live streamer now. But I am live streaming and I don't need anybody's permission. But I did put a whole face on with liquid foundation this morning because the sample I have really needs to be used up. Wow, these are very imperfect stitches. I would fail this lesson if they were grading me. Ow, that was a porcupine into my finger. My stitches are very uneven in their lengths. I think it's because I'm like, oh, I can do it. I just want to get on to the next lesson. But that is not the correct way to be a proper sewist. It's slow and steady and carefully thoughtful with your face beautiful and all of the other chores done so that you don't need to worry about feeling as though you are neglecting your obligations. Oh, they would seriously fail me for this lesson. I'd have to like repeat cat stitching. You flunked cat stitching. No, I am not stitching cats. They would not like that. Though I did take stitches, actually, they weren't, they were staples, metal twist tie staples out of a cap before. That would be a little Freya Freevers. But, I'm sure people don't really want to hear that story. Sweet. I'm so glad I reread a little bit last week so I could get things prepped for my cat stitching. I have some squares of flannel cut, or they're rectangles, but I have some flannel cut out. But this is going to be fun going through these. Actually, it has been fun. I have been enjoying myself quite a lot. It'll be great when people, how can I, what are my tags and hashtags to get more views? I'm like a nobody, I, okay, we're not going to go into that. That's for a Sunday stitching, bitch. Now we are just learning. I think we have to put our, call this a seam, call this a cat stitched. All right, let us Yeah, there's our line of cat stitching. Let's focus closer. Not too close. Oh, don't care. What are you focusing on? Ooh, that is not the most horrible. Oh! There, we did it. We can use this fancy old camera. Beautiful line of cat stitching. All right. Feather stitch, check. We are now on to hem stitching. Measure. Hold on. Let's see here. Hem stitching. Measure from the edge of the material twice the width of the hem wanted. And with a needle or pin, pick out one of the threads, being careful not to break it if possible. Here. 
All right, I guess we're going back to our white sampler clock here. Because we need to... Okay. Measure twice the width of the hem wanted. So we're just going to arbitrarily make a decision and draw a thread is what the... I... Come on. Come on. You gonna do it? People are thinking I'm talking to nobody. Why don't you come sit in my lap now? Sorry for irritating into the microphone. All right, so my, my hem is going to be this long. So I took the needle, judged, and have, not that you can see with all these there, I have one little itty bitty thread sticking out, which I'm going to gently with all thoughts of goodness to the gods, the deities of sewing, hope that it doesn't break, which it did. I know this is such a fancy technique, but setting a hem with a drawn thread just seems like... Somebody hates you. In that case, I pulled up two threads. I'm trying to make a not make a hole. What the fuck is happening here? All right, so this we just have to be very relaxed and patient, but firm, yet not get angry. While we gently tug on the thread with our left hand fingers and with our right hand fingers, gently, gently, gently attempt to smush the fabric. This is not a. Pl I am not having fun anymore. I don't even know if this is the same thread from earlier. And this is something you can only do on a woven cloth that's like a straight warp and a weft, no fancy things. This will not work. And... Even if you have the right thread, still is like Dante's ninth level of hell in the sewing world. Mm-hmm. 
also tried to do this with tweezers. Oh, this is a very boring section, which is why I put on some background music, because I want to see Phoenix cry. Ask them to draw a thread. Which I'm going to have to get over this, because I want to do an entire drawn thread Vishivanka. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not all drawn thread, but... No. Oh, that was the wrong... Please, sewing deities, do not hate me. Do not hate on me. How did I deserve to get to this lesson of punishment? This is just threading, shredding, threading. Cross your fingers and your toes and pray to all that's holy in the sewing world. You can do it. You can do it. Slowly. Gently. The part, it, it's just being very very gentle, but firm, but gentle, but firm. So start at the left hand side and gently massage the fabric. And then when it gets too long, just hold it a little bit closer to the fabric. Deep, calm breaths while we just gently massage the fabric over this thread. Calmly and gently. You too can learn how to draw a thread. Again, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have to pick one that's farther down because the way this is cut, it is going to run off the edge. It's not necessarily that I want the theme to him to be this far down, but. Mm. <sighs> okay. We are not giving up. We are not giving up hope. We just need a moment to regroup here. Okay. We will draw this thread. I can draw this thread. Threads will be drawn, means will be taken. Okay. Let's hope that attempt 555 a gajillion billion will not let us down because we cannot proceed until we've drawn this thread. Oh. 
Okay, just listen to the music while I quietly do this and try not to cry. Okay. That. We're going to call that close enough and good because of this shit. This was, that was hard. All right, hem stitching. We did that. You know, pick out one of the threads. Done. Being careful not to break it if possible. <laughs> the chief... The chief difficulty is in drawing the first thread from four to from four to six threads should be drawn depending on the, oh God. Well, let's for the destructions. Do it again and hope that it's easier, like they said. No, this fabric hates me. Whoa. Is just mean. This cruel and unusual punishment. I mean, not really, but. Who am I kidding? Yes. Yes, it is. This one is, I shouldn't speak too soon. Never mind, this is just as difficult as all of the other threads to draw were. Horrible. This is terrible.
At least the music is good. All right, that's not what exactly they, we were supposed to do, but I am going to go cross-eyed and angry. All right, screw up. All right, what's next in the distractions? That should be drawn depending of... No. Depending... Of course, upon the texture of the fabric, more being drawn when fabric is fine than when coarse. All right, because it takes up less space. Then turn the hem, creasing the edge one eighth of an inch and baste it even with the threads drawn. Okay, so well, at least we could do that part, right? So... That's going to be impossible. Oh, there it goes. So there's where we drew some threads and are going to... And we're going to re-thread our needle and then do a basting line. Folded it down, and we are going to baste. All right, should we? Mm -hmm. This basting is fun. But it was nice to like know where to th have a good guide to fold how to for folding your fabric. I see utilities of the drawn thread. It just this fabric is not easy to pull a thread on. It is terrible.
Okay. Yeah, it was not supposed to be open. Well, we are just having a day of it. God, I've got music on so I don't default to Dvorak's Hungarian dances, and it still happens. I guess because I played it like five gajillion billion times in orchestra. I mean, it's a good one, but... Okay, let's see here. When fabric is fine, then I'm going to turn the hem, crossing, reason the edge down, and baste it with the threads. Fasten the thread in the hem and take up an equal number of cross threads. Okay, we've turned the hem and basted. And sorry, I did white on white instead of black, so you can't see what my stitched. <laughs> Fasten thread in hem. Uh, I I did this completely wrong. We are going to get back to this next week, and I am going to pre-draw threads and show you how to do this the right way. Because now that I effed it up, I know how to fix it. So, all right, have until next time. Bye.